In this video, let us see how to use Word document editing while writing a research paper. You, there is an option available in the Word. I'll, I'll tell you in a detailed way how to use that feature to edit your document uh, once it is ready. No, you definitely, you know, once you complete your paper, it will go to multiple revisions. But how to do that? Whether should you correct it in the a hard copy then you have to keep typing again and again and how do you track the record what you call changes there is a one uh, option available in the word let me just uh, I'll, I'll tell you just to go to the word uh, always you just to click the word and you will go to the review there is a tab called review just you need to go to the review then you have multiple options you can check all these things but one thing that is called track changes kindly make a note you have to track changes just you click this once you click it will enable you have to enable it that is the first thing so what will happen once you enable it you will be able to edit but that edit uh, that changes will be tracked i'll show you the example here this is the title of today's video and by the way if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please do not forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that when i post my next video you will get immediate notification see now let us see you want to check, uh, you want to change how to use Word document uh, editing while writing research paper. You want to change certain things in this thing. It is already you have titled it. You want to change it. So, how to use, you want to change this particular word. Just to select it. If you want to delete, simply if you click delete, obviously the word will become red and it will be striked off. But now, uh, you want to, uh, let me go back. You want to change the word you instead of use you want to use the word utilize now that word is deleted the new word is added similarly you will be able to change a lot of uh, what you call you can correct it you can add add new word you can correct errors and uh, all those things you can do now let me show you one more uh, real document how it will be used for the correction how what are the correction have made and what are the other features I have used also, let me tell you. And look at that, this is the document, one of the paper which I have corrected. Look at that, here I have corrected, uh, uh, they have already, uh, let me show you here, what I have done. They have written us, it will eliminate the conventional arc welding process that caused the above mentioned issues. What I have done, I removed will, because generally we don't use will this kind of thing in the research paper. So, I have removed, simply I made it in the present tense. So, the will is striked off. With the eliminate, I have added yes, because it's a first third person singular, you need to add yes. So, I have added. Apart from that, I have highlighted the entire sentence. Look at the another one. I have, you can see that Raju Shagrin commented, check the idea of the sentence. So, I, I, I have a doubt whether the idea is correct or wrong. That's why I have asked the person, the, the person who written this paper, I have asked him to correct this paper. Okay, in that way, how can you see, they are saying that low carbon steel is mostly used in lightweight many structure. You, 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 have, you want to have certain clarity, you select it, go to new comment. Just to, new comment, the comment box will open either left side or right side. Here you can write, can you provide reference for this statement I, am, I have given a comment so what he says low carbon still is mostly used in lightweight and most many structural application but I, I am asking him to add certain references means it may be his idea or general idea he could have stated but I want him to add certain references for this references mean from the previous research paper who has given this particular idea just so, I have added, so when you highlight that particular uh, sentence, then you click uh, as a comment, you know? obviously the comment will appear, the person will be able to see all the corrections you have made and he will be able to check and he will be able to, re what you call, re respond to a comment. Now, the two, uh, two things are features, are one thing is you can add, delete, you know, basically number one. Even you can, in, in case you want to remove this comma, anything you can do just to remove it. It will, it will be removed and you want to add the comma just you add it it will be there just sorry because now 
the track changes I have switched off. That's why it is not coming. But I need to. You have to make sure that in case you look at the, I have I am removing the comma, but the, nothing is up, uh, what you call. You don't get any red mark anything because the track changes is, has not been switched on. You have to switch on. Just click enable it. Now I am adding comma. Look at that immediately. The comma comes in the red. In case I remove it, it will go. I have added. In case you want to add the space. Just to give a space, it will there will be a hyphen will come. Uh, what you call under the dash will come. Obviously, it will be known that it they have to need to add a space. Similarly, you want to reduce this uh, space. This one, just you give a delete, and this space obviously it means that they need to reduce the space. So all these things you can do this a word or you know in the word simply go to the track things you can do. So this is how if you want to edit, you will be able to edit it, but. As a person, when you receive the uh, word document in this edition, how to do the changes? What are the things you have to do? First thing, and uh, low carbon. Uh, now, as of now, I have told you as a, a, a writer how to edit it. Now, probably you are the student. You want to accept the changes. What are the changes your guide or other person has given, and you want to uh, add and add those changes. Now, what you have to do is. Look at that. There is an option called accept and reject. Say, for example, in this sentence, I have given. Can you provide reference for this statement? In case you 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 think that there is no need of reference for this thing, you can explain later. Means you, if you want to accept, you have to give accept. But you don't want to change, add anything. Simply reject it. It will over. Simply, you have to reject it. it will over. Now, in recent days, I have added a comma here. You have to, if you accept it, it will be, it will be there. The comma has been accepted. Here I have add, added a space, but you don't want the space because this is wrong. Then you reject it; it will be there. Here again, gas resources I have given a space. You don't want to have it; just reject it. In this way, it normally, generally, it works. One way you can do. See, I have done so many corrections here in this particular paper. There is one option you can accept. For example, accept. And move next. Accept and move next means it will go one by one. See, as of now we have accepted these many things. Now I click this accept and move next. This one it will eliminate. I have accepted. Then again I am clicking it. Yes is there. I am accepting it. And for this comment, I need to uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, check the sentence. I want to delete this comment. Just to click delete. And here it has been is there. Then accept. Accept, accept. This way you have to do. But uh, sometimes you are very damn sure you don't want to check one by one. There is option called accept all changes in document. All the changes, whatever I have made, all the changes has been, what you call changes have been accepted. Now I am giving control Z because. But you should never use this particular option because when somebody gives the correction, there may be a, a certain things you need to verify. So if simply if you give okay, accept all changes, then definitely you may not know what mistake you have made. So I will always suggest you please go to this accept, go one by one. Just to click here and check whether it is correct. You understood the correction, then give accept. In that way only you need to do so that you can learn from the uh, track track changes. So this feature is called track changes. When once you write the initial draft of the paper, even you yourself you can correct it. You can do the first one paper is ready, then switch on the track changes. Then you correct whatever the mistake you have identified. Then uh, accept all those changes. Then clear it. Then again you do it uh, uh, with a fresh copy. You give it to your guide or other person, and he will do the uh, corrections and the track changes, and you will be able to accept it. It is very convenient. Otherwise, if you take the print out and you make a correction, then again you need to go search one by one. You need to type it. Some sometimes you may miss it, but this feature is wonderful feature. Use it, and you will find it very uh, useful for your research paper. As well as uh, for all the natural, uh, you are what you call improving naturally to improve your writing process also to help you. I hope this video will be useful. If you find it useful, please share it to your friends and let them get benefited. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.